Hey you. Good morning. Oh, don't get up too fast. Don't worry, you're safe. You're here at my place. In my bed. <laughs> Relax, I slept on the couch. Mm -hmm. You had this nice big bed all to yourself last night. You feeling okay? Mm, little headache. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I sort of lost control last night. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I drank too much from you. And I'm really sorry. I mean, I kind of warned you, but uh, I hate that I went too far. Kind of made you pass out. But you're okay now. Mm-hmm. I brought you back here and took care of you. <laughs> no. Nothing happened. Why were you hoping for something like that? Hmm. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm a big fan of consent. And with you passed out, that just wasn't happening. Oh god, no, I did not turn you. Hey, wait, is that another Twilight reference? Because I thought we agreed no more of that. I guess I just don't understand why people would want to become one of us so quickly. Or at all, for that matter. Yeah, I'd rather see the relationship between a vampire and like a regular person develop over time. Like, wouldn't it be interesting to see how they navigate the world as the ultimate mixed couple? <laughs> Anyways, I'm on a tangent now. Why don't you tell me how it was for you? Yeah, your first bite. <laughs> yeah? It felt good? Mm. It didn't hurt, right? Okay, good. I mean, yeah, it felt really good for me. Obviously, it was too good, but... Um, do you remember anything that happened last night? Huh. Well, I lost control because your blood tastes phenomenal. Um, I drank a little too much and you passed out. But luckily, you kind of came back a little bit. Yeah, but just enough to get down the mountain and into your car. Mm -hmm. I drove us back to my place. <laughs> Don't worry, your car's fine. I'm a really good driver, you know. And you're lucky I drive stick shift too. Anyways, um, we got home and you were still kind of out of it, so uh, so I made you some tea and put on some relaxing music. Oh, so you do remember. Nice. Mm, it's a really old album called Faces of the Harp. It's one of my favorites, but it seemed to relax you because you fell into a deep sleep. <laughs> and now it's morning. I was kind of torn because you look so cute when you're sleeping. But I wasn't sure if you need to go to work or, like, be somewhere. Oh good, I'm glad you're off. That means that you can share some breakfast with me? Yeah? <laughs> okay, good. I'm, I'm almost done cooking. Uh, I made pancakes, because I wasn't really sure what you like. But I figured everybody likes pancakes. Plus, we gotta get your iron levels up, so the maple syrup should help with that. I also made a spinach and tofu scramble for you, if you're not allergic to soy, that is. Okay, good. Oh, well, <laughs> this situation has never happened to me before, but I do know a bit of how to take care of someone who's just donated blood. Ironically, I used to work for the blood bank. I know, I know, that was kind of dumb. 
not the greatest environment for someone like me. I mean, it's not like I can't control my urges to drink. I just, I can pretty much act normal in every situation, but it's more so just annoying handling all those bags of blood and not being able to drink any. So, yeah, that's how I know you need to eat this. Are you kidding? <laughs> I should be thanking you. Listen, I'm not just saying this, but your blood is the best I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Smooth, creamy, and sweet. It's just a hint of sour metal. <laughs> it's a good thing, don't worry. Um, do you like lemon meringue pie? Because that's the vibe that I got from your blood. Mm. So good. <sighs> Sorry, I just kind of zoned out there. I was thinking about how good you tasted. Oh, but don't worry, don't worry. I got my fill for a while. I won't need another drink for like a couple weeks, maybe. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, if you offered me another drink, it'd be really, really difficult for me to say no. Have you ever gone to one of those all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue places and you like stuff yourself full of the yummiest foods and you're sitting at the table at the end of your meal and you're like oh I'm so full I'm never eating anything again <laughs> yeah exactly but then your friend says okay let's go get ice cream and all of a sudden you have space for it <laughs> Um, that's, that's my vibe right now. That's how I feel. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're the ice cream. <laughs> Sweet lemon ice cream, maybe? I don't know. But really, please don't offer me your blood again. As much as I would love another taste, I don't want to risk hurting you again. Yo, chill, you're wild. You're like a thrill seeker, huh? Seriously, stop putting your neck in my face. Bloodthirsty, huh? You should see some of the others. They would have killed you by now. Yeah, hello, you're really out here playing with fire, asking vampires to drink from you. T see, I knew you were going to get addicted. Tell me not, I totally called it. Hey, don't get all pouty. You're so cute when you think you know what you're doing. <laughs> you're just so lucky it was me who found you. Or maybe not, I don't know. Because to be honest, I kind of feel addicted to your blood. But also your smile and your warmth. I don't want to risk hurting you. I swear to God, if you compare me to Edward Cullen again, I might have to actually teach you a lesson. Oh God, you would like that, huh? Well, it's a moot point because you lost way too much blood last night. And if I drank from you again, you might be a goner. Which is why I'm going to need you to eat these delicious fluffy pancakes for me. I may not be drinking from you right at this moment, but I'd like you to replenish your supply. So I can maybe have some more at some point. What? <laughs> no, I'm not holding you hostage here. If you have to go, here's your keys. You, <laughs> you really want me to be one of those, like, possessive yandere vampires, don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just not my brand. I'm all about consensual cuddles, you know? Slice of life. That kind of thing. I can see you want to be swept off your feet by a scary monster. But you have no faith in the sweeping abilities of a cuddly vampire. Uh, yeah. I can sweep you off your feet, no problem. <laughs> you really gonna challenge me like that? It's almost too easy. 
Well, all I would have to do is get up close to your neck and just Oh my gosh, you see? You're so easy to crack. <laughs> Look at you, so cute and squirmy. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna bite you. Now eat your breakfast, so maybe I can change that later. <laughs>